Good morning, everyone. Today, I brought with me an apple. School's almost over, isn't it? How many of you have ever taken an apple to school for the teacher? We always used to, but times are different now. So I bought us, brought an apple with us today to remind us that Jesus is a teacher. If Jesus is my teacher, I want to present him with an apple. Today, I want the apple to teach us something about God. So what do you see inside the apple that I cut apart? Well, we probably see a five-pointed star, and it's round in shape, the apple is. And there's seeds around it, right? Does that remind you of anything? Well, the star reminds us of Jesus being born in Bethlehem, and it's shown over the place in his, at his cradle, right? In the, in the manger. So the apple reminds us of Jesus. I also see that the shape of the apple is round, right? It's round. Does the circle have a beginning? No, it doesn't, does it? It doesn't have a beginning or an end, and that's like God. God has no beginning or end either. He is everlasting. So I see in the apple something that reminds us about our creator, God. What else is there in there? All right, you see some seeds in there. Well, when we see seeds, we think of the church that has grown and grown over a long time on Pentecost, just like the seeds grow in an apple. It was just a small beginning, but the Holy Spirit made the church grow and come so that it's large and has lots of believers like you and me. So in the seeds, I see something to remind us of God and the Holy Spirit. Wow, all of that is in the middle of an ordinary apple. Yet the apple is one, unless we cut it apart, isn't it? It has a star, it's round and seeds, but it's only one piece, the same way that God is the creator. So when we look at this apple, it reminds us of all these ordinary things, yet it's one. And it's the same way with God who created the earth, Jesus, his son, and the Holy Spirit. So when the great teacher Jesus told us about God, he taught us a lot of things that we really didn't know before. He told us that God was three in one. And who are they? God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. I'm glad that God has given us Jesus to teach us about him and the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Creator Jesus and Holy Spirit, teach us more. We always ask it in your name. Amen. Okay, well, I hope you have a great week. Have a great day. Talk to you again soon. Bye.